Good morning again. This is Eric, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time checking us out. All right, get a load of this. Look here, 2001 International. We always used to call internationals corn binders when I was a kid. Well, I had an international scout. Man, I think it was like a 65. My buddies called it the corn binder or the snout or what. But goodness sakes, I already got derailed. I hadn't even started yakking yet about the bus and I already got sidetracked. So here we go, 2001 International. Uh, 77 passenger school bus, needless to say. Let's check her out. I think you're gonna be pretty pleased with this. Step treads are showing real good shape. I love the green floor, green seats in it. Grab bars, you come in. Look at that, ooh, is that the, ah, tears for fears. We used to call them the, you know, wait a minute. I better back it up a bit. I better not say it. I'll tell you what, anyhow. Tears for Fears, I remember that song, 19, uh, circa 1984 maybe? Anyhow, I'm sure you guys will let me know if I'm wrong, so check out the driver's seat upholstery. Not too bad, you're showing a fair amount of edge wear right here. Air ride driver's seat, check it. Mm. Tilt wheel, uh, driver and passenger heat, no AC on this. Not real common to get a school bus with AC, but I have seen them before windshield is looking really good check it out crossover mirrors right here i'm surprised look i got the eight-way flashers going out there i'm surprised they're even still on here most school districts disable those when you get them so let's see uh big interior mirror right here a couple of visors for the driver always a nice feature fire extinguisher automatic transmission with let's see the mileage 137,000. so that's on the 7.3 liter diesel that is the same diesel that ford used in their pickups for so many years goodness sakes i love that motor i want to say from 93 maybe it was 92 on up to 2007 2008 they used that daggum motor it was awesome it was it was manufactured by international ford called it the power stroke international calls it the t 44 e so that's what's in this baby four is looking really good passenger upholstery I've seen a lot worse in school buses. Typical edge wear going on right here, but I don't think it's excessive. This is this is one of the better. This this is looking pretty good. What the what the cuss is that? Look, somebody left their daggum bag of pretzels in here. I'm gonna have to get on the detail shop about that. I'll tell you what. I'll throw in a bag of pretzels. No charge. Overhead roof hatches, front and rear emergency exit roof hatches. Typical school bus style windows that are tinted. I love it when school buses have tinted windows. As I said, the upholstery, ha <laughs> look at that, shoot. Big old ripping and a tearing right there. Got some evidence of repair going on in the upholstery, but like I said, dude, don't, I'll tell you what, this, this is one of the nicer school buses I've seen. So, 2001 International, I believe it's called the CE200, if I'm not mistaken. Man, this is a good cut. Mm-hmm. The smell of wine and cheap perfume. Anyways. Uh, I think that will do it. Uh, courtesy light switches over there for the passengers. Passenger heat switches as well. There's two passenger heaters, air operated door. Look at that. Check it out. Let's hit this switch right here. There it goes. Look at that. Functioning properly. Okay, let's cruise around it outside. Here we go. All right, then. Uh, tires look at the tires brand new rubber on this baby all the way around check it out underneath while we're down here 7.3 power stroke pardon me t444 e love that engine i, love, I had a I had a ford super duty man that had that engine it man it was solid it was solid goodness sakes okay let's check out the undercarriage a little bit here yeah look at that look at that Looking pretty clean. New tires, as I mentioned. Front and rear. New tire tread on the rear duals, as well as the front steer tires. This big old cage you see right here, that's how they enclose the fuel tank. That is a very common safety feature that is required on all school buses, if I'm not mistaken. So, awesome tire tread. I don't, need to need, don't even need to show it to you because they're new. Tinted passenger windows. We do got a little bit of action going on up there can you see that it looks like somebody might have gotten to a tree branch or something doggone it body and paint's looking pretty good looks like they blacked out the previous school district's name there going down the side 
tow hooks there in the rear. Oh yeah. And then let's open up this rear door. Here we go. Look at that. There's that buzzer I love so much. Oh yeah. Looking pretty good. There's that bag of pretzels. I'll tell you what, Flav. I, I gotta say, I think that's Flav. So, anyways. Uh, looking pretty good. Clearance lights up top, eight-way flashers. It doesn't look like they're functioning. A lot of times school districts disable those when they get rid of their buses, but I'm surprised that the stop paddle works. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> I might have shut it off. Look. Shoot. Okay, body and paint's looking pretty good. Typical sun fading on the paint, but I don't think anything major. I pointed out the worst part of the body up top there, but there's no evidence of any roof leaks that I can see on the inside. New rear tires, as I previously mentioned. And let's give the undercarriage a bit of a look here. Mm-hmm. All right, then. And J-Box right in here. Look at that. Looking pretty good. Wiring schematic there on the inside. And then down a little battery box. Look at that. A couple of batteries in there. I wish I could tell you where this bus came from, but I'm just not sure. Let's, uh, oh, let's peel back the hood right quick. I'll hustle. Here we go. Let's check out the mill. Crossover mirrors. International. There we go. Okay, let's peel this baby back. Look at that. 2001, uh, it says it right there, T444E, International. The corn binder, okay, I think that will do it. Let's button her back up. Turbo diesel, 7.3 liter. Oh, shoot, this gum hood's got a lock on it right in here. I forgot. Look, oh, there it is. I'm probably going to have to set down the gum camera. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. There we go. Okay, better button these up. Don't want to forget that. So I think that will do it. It looks like a PA, exterior PA mic up there. I don't know if I pointed that out on the inside, but it does have a PA mic in there next to the radio, AM, FM, cassette player. Okay, I think that'll do it. 137,000 miles on this baby. Lots of service left in her. Worked primo for a church bus, private school bus. Just, man, this is just all around a nice bus. So appreciate your time checking us out. Go online, nwbus.com, or give us a call. 800-231-7099. Thanks.